Hi everyone, this is Viorel and today we will learn to do non-linear regression with Power BI. If in a previous video, please see the link on the screen, we have learned to do linear regression in Power BI with the new linest function, now we will do a non-linear regression by twisting the parameters of the linest function. How do we twist them? Depending on what type of growth we have, uh, either logarithmic, either exponential, and so on, we manipulate the parameters by calculating the logarithm or the exponential of the parameters. In our case, we will do a logarithmic equation. We want to predict the y depending on x. Let's get started. So we have our data, uh, y, depending on x. First of all, in order to understand what type of equation we must construct for predicting our outcome, we have to plot the data. So we plot this on a scatter chart and we see that we have a logarithmic growth. What is a logarithmic growth? It increases quickly in the beginning and then the gains decrease and levels out as time goes on. Real life examples, population growth of animals in a fixed space area, where population leveled out as space for the animal decreased. Or in strength training, the beginner gains quickly at start, but then it becomes more and more difficult to get stronger as time passes by. So, being a logarithmic growth, the equation for prediction is our predicted y is the intercept plus the slope multiplied by the logarithm of x, while in the linear equation it would be the slope multiplied only with x. So, what we want to do, we want to predict what would be the outcome for other data. Okay, two of them, 2 and 20, are inside the, our data, so it will be an interpolation, and 60 is outside, it would be an extrapolation. So, let's construct the equation. Let's go back to Power BI and see our tables. So, I have imported the table from Excel, we have x, y, and we will see why we have the logarithm of x. Okay, so based on this, we have created the same uh, scatter chart as in Excel. Okay, x on the x axis and y on the y axis. And we say we have the same logarithmic curve as in Excel. Okay, so now we just want to create an equation, a logarithmic one, and to predict the other, the other data. I have put here the table with all the x's and uh, the y for uh, the existing x's. Okay, so um, I have imported here also the second, uh, the second table where I have uh, added the axis that we have to predict, okay? So we will use this table in order to plot it for the prediction. Now let's construct the equation. The equation, the linest function in a Power BI produces a table that uh, gives you the um, parameters of the equation, the intercept and the slope. For example, if this would have been a linear uh, curve, we will create a linear equation. Uh, so the, the formula will, would be linest, uh, the y, and then the x, 
and we will have the intercept and the slope for the linear equation. The only thing is that we don't have here a linear equation. Okay, we have a logarithmic one. That's why in, uh, in this table, I have uh, put the logarithm, okay, the logarithm of x. So, what happens if we want to create a logarithm equation with Linus? We have to introduce in line, Linus instead of x to put the logarithm of x. Okay, and this is what we have created here. We have created the equation for the logarithm curve where I put the y, the existing y and the logarithm of x. And now we have the intercept for the logarithm equation 16 and the slope 21. Okay, so now we have the parameters and now what we need to do is to forecast the y for the estimation. And how we do this? Let's go back to Excel and here we have the equation for the logarithm curve. So y intercept plus slope multiplied by logarithm of x. Now what we do, we create this measure which is called y estimated and the measure would be exactly the equation. It will be the intercept. The only thing that is that uh, when you construct the equation with the parameters from the Linus function, you have to put them inside an uh, aggregation, like sum, okay? It doesn't uh, affect in uh, any way to put sum here. Without sum, the, this equation would not work. So we, we wrap this intercept in sum plus the slope, okay, equation, uh, slope multiplied by the logarithm of the x, okay, logarithm of x, but here we have to wrap it inside the sum, okay, so we have exactly this equation. So we have created this y estimated and we have put it here in this table where we have the x, the y, the existing y, and the y estimated. And now what we need to do is just plot it uh, beside uh, the existing curve, okay, the estimated curve. So we put here in this scatter chart uh, on the x axis, we put the x, the existing x, and then on the y axis, we put the y, okay, which is the same as here, you see, and the y estimated here. And we see that the estimated curve, which is in red, is more or less close to the existing one. And then it gives us the uh, prediction for the uh, axes that are not uh, inside the existing table. For example, for uh, 2, we have 31 here. For 20, we have 80, 81 here. And for uh, 60, we have 104. So, this way you do a nonlinear prediction with the help of Linus in Power BI. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.